Hey guys, welcome back to another Disney Sorcerer's Arena. My name is Will DSA, and today we are going to be taking a look again at the event that is rolling around the corner for Toy Story. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. And this is the Toy Story Showdown right here, starting in about a day and 11 hours from recording of this. Um, and this is an event in which you would get Jesse, Woody, and Bo Peep. Um, and one, I think it was the first premiere event after Global Launch, uh, and one I did spend heavily on. So I want to give some impressions from then, some impressions now, and where we're at. So, first things first. Uh, keep in mind before we go into the event, there will also be packs if it is similar to achieve this character, similar to other events. So there is whaling opportunity, and along with this event, you can, I believe, purchase the Wild Imagination spell um a little bit nerfed now may not be worth it as much but it is something that did come around and to be aware of so let's go ahead and take a look at the event um so there are three different versions of this there is one in which you are getting woody and duke kaboom spells a bucket of soldiers and jesse are next and then Boat Peep and Wild Imagination are in the third, along with tokens. So let's go ahead and take a look at No Strings Attached for Woody. All of these typically follow the same pattern. As you look, there are different star levels, each of which having some uh, gear, some token drops. As you go down, ranging 1 to 4, 1 to 5, etc. Um, the normal and this is not one of the ones in which you are getting the, um, there's a set amount of these tokens here for the chests. Uh, each time there's a, a first time bonus. So that is something you will see. Um, and first reward is just like anything else that is consistent across the event. Go ahead and take a look at our info. It does scale up as you go. Uh, starting off with uh, the first one, Buzz Lightyear. So you do need uh, to work on a Buzz Lightyear to keep this going. Uh, that is the one prerequisite character uh, for at least Woody. And as you go up, it's, you know, two star level, three star level, three plus, four plus, etc. Uh, five, six, and seven all the way up. So this time around, I should be able to... Oh, that did not change it. So you actually do have gear tiers. You have to have gear tier 6 and gear tier 7 towards the end for this. So it is kind of walled here to get up to the higher events. Yep, it is geared. Or it is walled by gear. So that is it for Woody. For So basically for Woody, you need a, a buzz um, going forward. And you're going to need um, 7 star uh, gear 7 at to get to the highest range, 6 and 6, etc. So that is Woody. Jesse follows a very similar nature. The only difference being you need uh, Buzz, Lightyear, and Woody. Similar to other events, you are building up character after character to go through it. And then for Bo Peep... It will be the same. I believe it's Buzz, Woody, and Jesse for Bo Peep. Uh, Bo Peep is a little bit of a different one, it appears, because this does have the uh, tokens you can collect as you go through a certain amount per uh, to get through it and uh, grant the chests. So this will be your main one in which you're getting your chest tokens. And this one does have the info of needing Buzz, Woody, and Jesse at certain star levels. Now, as we look at this and have seen with Toy Story, Toy Story had a big hype around. I was certainly hype around it when it first came out. Let's take a look at our Toy Story characters as far as the, you know, original Toy Story. So, if we, uh, where are we here? All right, Toy Story. Okay, so we've had some more Toy Story characters, but it is not everything that you can use you have some villains here so out of all of these prioritize getting um bo peep it's a leader that's a good decent um leadership 
with a strong kit for a long time. Bo Peep was my leader in uh, Sorcerer's Tournament and other factions and making it work well. Um, very strong, especially with Zerg once you get him to get that damage up. Uh, Woody, Woody would be your second one uh, to really worry about. Uh, he get, does grant haste up. Um, he can speed up a Toy Story. He's he's all right, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. He's really a support. Uh, he does conju uh, work in conjunction well with Bucket of Soldiers. And then Jesse, unless you want the full Toy Story team, don't worry about trying to max out Jesse. There is no real good use uh, for Jesse at the moment. Her kit is not amazing. Um, so Bo Peep is definitely something you want to try and unlock. These are really just unlock characters uh you don't need to feel the need to get them up to seven stars uh they just really i have them at seven stars it's just not amazing i i can't see it being amazing um when they were a full team even with zerg they're not that amazing they just got pushed out uh by the incredibles afterwards and the teams otherwise um bo peep being your strongest play uh, as far as spells duke boom is is what it is it's not amazing. Um, Bucket of Soldiers, if you're mid -game, early mid-game, is definitely a good thing to have still. It is a powerful spell and will help you. Uh, towards the end game, it does go away. And then Wild Imag Imagination, um, same thing, but has definitely taken a hit on the way back uh, with the slight nerfing to its abilities. So really consider this event as an unlock event. Uh, look at the gear. You can get definitely try and go for some of the gear the droplets etc from this event will help you out um let me take a look i think each of them have the same drop yeah the uh these have the wispy droplets it appears uh those are going to be your biggest catches along with these the uh strange fibers Really, that help you put things together as you start tearing up uh, characters. So, Toy Story guys, overall, it's a fun team. Uh, it does synergize well, just not a lot of damage out of it, especially if you don't have a Zerg. Uh, you're not overwhelming people with buzz, necessarily. You're going to go ahead and want to unlock, but I wouldn't worry about wailing on it at this point. There's just no reason to. It's a good team for the uh like a club club conquest or something like that or a defense just a general team to use that has cohesive elements so guys that really is it for this event uh enjoy having fun guys make sure you get into it how long is this one gonna run does not say necessarily how long it's gonna run i'm assuming it's gonna run about the weekish or so that it usually does and then we'll see what comes after that but yeah this has been will dsa I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.